Hi everyone, today I want to show you the best hidden features and tricks in Windows 11. We're going to start with features that are brand new to Windows 11 and then we'll continue on to features that have been around for a while but just aren't that well known. Alright, let's check these out. First up Windows 11 has some new shortcut keys. When you press the Windows logo key together with the W key, W as in widget, widget panel opens up. The new widgets panel over the left hand side. You also have Windows logo key plus A. A is in action and on Windows 10 that opened up the action center but that is no more. Now that opens up quick settings. That's where you can adjust your monitor brightness and also your volume levels. Windows logo key together with the N key, N as in notifications, opens up the notification pane and also your calendar. And lastly, the Windows logo key together with the Z key, Z as in Zulu, opens up snap layout so you can easily position your windows around your screen. The alternative is you hover over the maximize button to access snap layouts. But hey, shortcut keys are just easier and they'll help you save time. Next, Windows 11 comes with some beautiful themes out of the box. But there are only about let's say seven or eight of them. If you want even more themes to personalize the experience, simply open up settings, then click on personalization. Then select themes. And then select browse themes. You'll have access to hundreds of different themes that you can click on and install. And then you can personalize your experience to whatever you want it to be. Next, the shortcut to launch task manager. Task Manager, the place where we all go to close application that are just being somewhere uncooperative. To launch the Task Manager, a really nice shortcut key, you simply press Ctrl, Shift, and Escape. And there you go, you have the Task Manager. You no longer have to press Ctrl, Alt, Delete. That just takes too many clicks. Next hidden feature. Night Light. Is the night light and unfortunately the computer doesn't include a physical light. Light although that would be really cool. You can turn on warmer colors as it gets later at night. This makes it easier to fall asleep. To turn it on simply right click on your desktop and select display settings. Within display settings you can turn the night light on or off. And you can even set up a schedule for when it starts and when it turns off again. Next hidden feature. Make mouse cursor more visible. You can make it easier for your audience to see your mouse cursor. Also within settings. Click on accessibility and then click on mouse. And then click on mouse pointer options. There you can change the size of your pointer. Mouse pointer and you could also adjust the color. If you use Microsoft Teams or Zoom or maybe you are recording your screen using OBS. All of those will pick up those changes. Next hidden feature and this is a really nice one when you're presenting. Hide desktop icons cause people are gonna see your desktop. You can hide all of your desktop icons. To use this simply right click on your desktop. Go to view. And then toggle off show desktop icons. And look at that. It's now completely clean. Next feature. And this is a fun one. You can press the Windows logo key together with the semicolon key and that'll launch the emoji picker and it's been redesigned in Windows 11. Not only can you choose emojis, but you could also pick from GIFs, Kemojis, and even symbols. Next feature. Copy and paste multiple items. We all know the standard copy and paste shortcut keys, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, but did you know that you can copy and paste multiple items? Simply copy an item like you normally would. Press Ctrl C, but instead of pressing Ctrl V to paste, press Windows logo key to gather with V key. And that'll allow you to choose all of the different items that you've copied into your clipboard. Let's look into next hidden feature. When you click into start menu navigation, the start menu and you click on all apps, you just have a massive list of all of the different apps. You can click on the different headers and that'll allow you to quickly navigate to a letter of the alphabet. So let's say that I'm looking for the snip and sketch tool. I simply click on S and then I could see all the different apps on my computer that start with an S.
Next Snip and Sketch. Windows 11 includes an awesome screenshot tool called Snip and Sketch. To launch it, simply search for Snip and Sketch and then you can take a screenshot of whatever area of your screen you want. Now to launch it, you could search for it or you could press Windows, Shift, and S, but that's kind of complicated. One thing you can do is when you go into Settings, click on Accessibility. Click on Keyboard. And then you can toggle on. So when you press the Print Screen button on your keyboard, which traditionally takes a screenshot of your entire desktop, you can set that Print Screen key so it can launch Snip and Sketch. Next hidden feature on Windows 11 is Steps Recorder. Let's say you're trying to record steps to pull together documentation. Or you want to help a friend with a computer problem and you want to document the steps that they should follow. The Steps Recorder will help with that. Simply search for Steps Recorder and click on the best match. When the Steps Recorder opens, click on Record Run Through All of Your Steps. It'll take screenshots as well as describe every single step that you took and then you can share it to your friend. Next feature is adding clock. You can add additional clocks to windows. Adding additional clocks is when you have friends or family who live in different time zones and it's hard to remember. You could simply add another clock in the bottom right hand corner. Right click on the time and click on adjust date and time. On the next screen, click on date and time, and at the very bottom there's the option to add additional clocks. You can add two more clocks and have a total of three different clocks visible. Next feature is dark theme. You can turn on dark theme in Windows. Within settings click on personalization and then select colors, and here you can set a dark theme. You can set it for Windows as well as all of the different apps. The neat thing is a lot of apps will inherit this setting. So if you use Microsoft Office or you using a web browser, they will all start to display in dark mode. So finally your eyes can get a break. Next feature is startup apps. You can configure what apps start up when your computer starts up. If you find that maybe your computer is starting up a little slow, Chances are it's because lots of apps are trying to start up. Within settings on the left hand side click on apps. And within apps at the very bottom click on startup. Then you'll see all the apps that are currently starting up with your computer. You can turn them on or off. Next feature is Windows Sandbox. What happens in the Windows Sandbox stays in the Windows Sandbox. Let's say maybe you have an application that you want to run or maybe you want to open a file that might be a little bit sketchy and you don't trust opening it on your computer. You can open it within the sandbox and if it screws things up, you just close the sandbox and it won't affect your computer at all. To turn it on using search, search for turn Windows features on or off. Make sure that Windows Sandbox is checked on. To launch Windows Sandbox, simply search for Windows Sandbox and then you can launch it. It's a virtual computer on your computer and once again it's separate from your actual computer. The next feature is Sticky Notes. You can create sticky notes on Windows. Within Search, simply search for Sticky Notes. Add directly to your screen. One of the best things is these notes are also synced in on cloud. So you can access them on your iPhone or your Android phone using the OneNote app. You could also get to them on the web through the OneNote website. And you can also view all of your notes in Outlook app by simply clicking into notes in Outlook app. So your notes are synced everywhere. Next feature is dictation with auto punctuation. You can dictate to your computer and it'll write down everything that you're saying. Simply press the Windows logo key, together with the H key. On Windows 11, one of the new features is, it'll automatically add the punctuation. Next up, you can screen record with Game Bar. Using an app that comes for free with Windows 11 and it's called the Xbox Game Bar. 
you can press the Windows logo key together with the G key, G as in game, and that'll launch the game bar. So let's say you want to record a game or maybe you want to record a PowerPoint presentation. You can do all of that. All in it's a decent screen recorder. The only thing that it can't record is your desktop and file explorer. Next hidden feature. Quick assist. First make sure you are logged in with your Microsoft account. Whether you need a helping hand or you're lending one. Quick assist makes it easy to get connected. Open the start menu. Select all apps. And under the letter Q. You'll find quick assist. You can also get there by pressing Ctrl, the Windows logo key and Q. You'll see a window that lets you get help or help someone. On the right side. Someone asking for help. And on the left side is someone helping them. First, the person helping selects help someone. This creates a security code that they can share with the person they're helping. They can share it via chat or on the phone. On the right, the person who wants help enters this code. This code makes sure that only the person helping can view their screen or access their computer. Next, the person who wants help will be asked if they want to share their screen with the other person. They select, allow. Now the person helping can see the other person's screen and help them out. The person helping can also request control to make specific changes or check settings. The person getting help can select allows to give the other person control. During the session, the person helping can use a laser pointer to highlight specific spots on the screen. The annotation tool to create notes or drawings on the screen. And chat to ask and answer questions. When either person wants to end the session, they can select leave. And the last hidden feature of today. Screen recording using snipping tool. You can record your screen using snipping tool. Go to start menu and search for snipping tool and hit enter. Click on record icon. Click on new and select the screen area you want to record. You can pause or resume the recording. Once you finish recording click on stop recording and save it wherever you want. Well that's it. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Let me know down below in the comments, are there any other hidden features that you would include? To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. See you next time.